A diplomatic backlash is underway as ambulances emerged carrying the coffins of eight drug traffickers, seven of them foreigners, executed by an Indonesian firing squad. Indignation has been loudest from Australia over the death sentences carried out early today against its two citizens, Andrew Chan and Myron Sukumaran. With the other condemned men, they're said to have sung hymns and refused blindfolds in their final moments. Trade ties between their country and Indonesia will continue, but Australia has recalled its ambassador. Uh, we respect Indonesia's sovereignty, uh, but we do deplore what's been done. Uh, and this cannot be simply business as usual. Uh, I want to stress that uh, this is a very important relationship between Australia and Indonesia, uh, but it has suffered uh, as a result of what's been done. Indonesia shrugged off the diplomatic recall, saying it would just be short term. Brazil had already withdrawn its ambassador over an earlier execution. This time, the family of Rodrigo Golata had pleaded for clemency on the grounds of mental illness to no avail. A stay of execution was granted to a female prisoner from the Philippines.